Welcome mortals with oh, wait on. It's definitely what this was designed to do. Welcome mortals, I'm Dark Lord Kaiser. This is my desk. You know what that means? It means that Neo has sent me something in the post again. It is it is it's too big. I can't is it all in shot? Belly. Okay, I have got a different camera and it's plugged in. It's charging this time so we don't have to worry about it dying. I didn't check how much was on the memory card so we may run out of space but... So let's do this quickly. How, how do I get in? <laughs> There's too much tape. Oh god. Let's go... Here. Aha. Beautiful thing about knives, you can't find an entrance, you can make one. Stabby, stabby, stabby. Right. Now I'm just going to double check, there's nothing in here I need to worry about. Okay. To the Dark Lord. That's me. Uh. Hey Dick, congratulations for completing your first game series. He's referring to the room. Go watch it. Unfortunately, you completed a really poor game with an anticlimactic ending. Well, yes, but I didn't know that. To make up for this, please accept this gift as compensation from the developer of the room. In reality, this is not the case, and the developer is a bit of an arsehole for leaving you empty-handed, but I'm sure he or she had good intentions. All the best, and can't wait to see what you get. Your terrible friend and come round in arms, Neo Rambler. Go check him out, he's awesome. Okay, so what's what's in the box? What's in the box? It's it's bubble wrap. That's not what he wanted to send me. Ow. He sent me Oh Jesus, even more bubbles. Funny thing is, he sent this special delivery, but he addressed it to Dark Lord Kaiser. So if nobody had been in the house when this was delivered, it would have been taken to the, um, you know, the, the depot. But because nobody had identification saying they're Dark Lord Kaiser, I wouldn't have been able to retrieve it. So Jesus, he sent me a great big old thing. See, th this is a manageable size. This this stays in shot better. Still gotta cut it open though. Right. Dabby. That's a horrible noise. Cutty, 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 stab, stab, stab. I see something blue. I see a dark magician under all these bubbles. What has he sent me now? I will not be defeated by bubble wrap, damn it. Get out of the way. What is keeping? It's all this flipping tape. Ah, eh. Come here, what we got? We have got yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading Guard Dual Power. I believe this is brand new out. Which presumably means it cost an arm and a leg. This generosity war is going to escalate very quickly, I'm sure. <laughs> right, so, dual power. Let's have a look at the back, shall we? That's that dark magician lad that I did do a see through the bubbles. So, we've got a bunch of um, cards that are standard to the box. I know one of them is dark magician, because of course it is, there's white face in the box. I imagine they're probably something related to this lot, but I say I'm going to try and avoid looking at them for now. So we're going to get six packs and a big old mat and some random cards. Um, sorry, standard cards, but I don't know what they are. You know, sometimes I get the feeling that this knife is too big for the tasks I require it for. Then it occurs to me that it, that's obviously wrong and I've got, my knife is too small, I need a bigger one. I'll get my katana out sooner or later, that'll do the job. Take out the box and the desk and half the flipping house. 
in the bin with the plastic. Okie kokey. Up. Up. <laughs> yeah. There we are. I was going to let that drop and slam onto the desk, and then I remembered that my microphone, this thing over here, is currently connected to the desk. So if I bash this, the desk, I, just, I was about to bash the desk for a demonstration. Don't do that. If I bash the desk, it'll shake the microphone, and you'll hear all sorts of weird rattly things on the, uh, the sound. Assuming I haven't done that already. So, let's have a gander. So, this is a... Oh, that is beautiful. Now, I will admit ignorance, I do not know who half these people are. Dark Magician, I know. Elemental Hero, Neos, I know. Beyond that, I got nothing. Uh, hopefully they'll appear in the, the cards and I can then read them out to you. Um, so, I... I've never really made a Dark Magician deck. I have a fair few spellcasters, but I don't think I have half the support cards that they need to make them worthwhile. I do have an Elemental Hero deck. I'm quite fond of Elemental Heroes. Um, but more the um, the other ones than Neos, personally. I don't mind Neos. He's a good little card on his own. He's useful for things he can do. Uh, but I, I've, I've always enjoyed sort of fusion um, as, a, as, a as a game mechanic. And I liked the Elemental Heroes being able to fuse with each other in lots of different ways to give different lots I will get that sentence out. Lots of different ways to get lots of different effects. So on the other side, we used to have... Oop, I bashed my microphone, haven't I? Yeah, we just got a Dark Magician Lad and our Neos Fellow. Fantastic. That is... I like that board. That is a nice board. Did I just whack the camera? I just whacked the camera, didn't I? Eh, still in focus. We're good. That's the, I like that. I think I actually like that more than the... Uh, Tetic. So that's a Kyber one. But, you put that to the side for the moment. I'll have a sip of my drinky. I just bashed the table again. I've got to stop doing that. Right, so, let's start with our special cards. My fingers got stuck on the plastic for a moment. So, okay. any of that in the bin. So obviously we start off with the classic Dark Magician. Well, I say it's the classic. The card's uh, classic. The artwork, obviously, is uh, is a new design. I quite like that. That's cool. He's standing there with his big old staff of magic saying, Yeah, you want some? I do want some. It's awesome. Right, moving on. So if the Dark Magician's first, I'm willing to bet that Neos will be second. Elemental Hero Neos. There he is. Big old shiny lad. So yes, his um, big gimmick was contact fusion. Um, so you'd get a Neospatian card, and if they're on the field, you could just sort of... I think you return them to the deck or something, and then you could summon a card from the... Well, it's not called a fusion deck anymore, it's called the extra deck. Uh, but it only ever stayed there for like one turn, and then it went back as well, so you in a real, had a very real chance of just completely wiping out your own um, field by accident. There were ways around it, but as I said, I much preferred the, the standard ones. But there are plenty of cards that um, fit Elemental Hero and Neos into the regular, uh, well, the other Elemental Heroes as well. So, let's see who we've got as our third card. We have got Stardust Dragon. Ah, it's a name I recognise, but I didn't know what he looked like. So, a Synchro Monster, meaning you have to have a tuner and a non-tuner on the field whose stars add up to whatever the number of stars up there, and then you can just... Send them to the graveyard and summon this bad boy. What do you do? When a card or effect is activated that will destroy a card or cards on the field, quick effect, you can tribute this card to gate the activation if you do destroy it. During the end phase, if this card was if this effect was activated this turn and was not negated, you can special summon this card from your graveyard. Okay, so it's tribute this, stop a thing, and then it pops back later. Not bad for 2500 attack as well. That's a decent that's a decent one actually. If I had any tuner cards, I'd make use of that. I should find a tuner card up there. Number 39, Utopia. I have a feeling I got a Utopia card in some other box thing. I can't remember. I'll look that up. Number 39, Utopia. So, just two level 4 monsters. Oh, I've got plenty of level 4 monsters. I can probably put this in a few of my other decks. Two level 4 monsters. When a monster declares attack, you can detach one material from this card to gate the attack. If this card is targeted for an attack while it has no material, destroy this card. So it doesn't even have to be attacking this card. It can defend other monsters with its uh, with its effect. That's quite useful. Nice. 
into the pile. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. That's uh, a. I said I've never really got my head around the pendulum monsters um, in terms of their pendulum summoning stuff. So, yeah, you have to Google that one if you know what that's about. It's uh, complicated and stupid. And my phone went off because I forgot to put it on silent because I'm a dumb. I am a dumb dumb. Uh, something's happening to Debenhams. Who cares? Well, I imagine the people who work at Debenhams probably care, but they can do it later. My phone occasionally gives me random breaking news report things from the BBC news website. Not all of them useful. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, what do you do? Uh, if this card of battles an opponent's monster, any battle damage this card inflicts is doubled. Ooh! Oh, that's a harsh power. Also, it's got one of those pendulum effect things, but I don't know enough about those to care. And decode talker. Those are technically words. It's a cyburst monster. What on earth? What in the name of buggering Christ is a cyburst? You can tell I've been out of this game for a while. <laughs> don't know what a cyburst is. This is a link monster, which I've only just learnt about. And this works similar, I believe, to the Synchro Monsters. But they've got a special place they've got to go, and these arrows that are here will then point to cards on the rest of the field. There's one over there as well, so this points in one at your opponent and two on your side. Unless it's in... Oh no, it can't be in defence mode, I imagine. That's why it's only got an attack. Um, and then this effect will then target those three areas. What is the effect there? So it gains 500 attack for each monster it points to. Okay, so the more monsters around it, the higher attack goes. Nice. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card you control, you contribute one monster this card points to negate the activation if you do destroy that card. That's not bad. Well, I said, none of these cards are going to be bad. They're the special sort of promo cards. But, as I said, given I know nothing about this type of card, we in shot, we're in shot. Then, uh, yeah, that squeaking is me moving around my chair. Double check the camera is actually still recording. Oh, we got I got like 17 minutes of footage time to work with. So let's hope this wasn't don't won't take me too long. E mini that one. So it's five cards per pack, and I just think because I said I remember some friends of mine talking about this. Um, I have a feeling that they cover a wide variety of the different um, series we've had, so we could get literally anything from it. So I might get an Elemental Hero card, I might get an Odd Eyes card, I might get a Dark Magician boost thing, who knows. First up we have... Oh! Oh, look at you, you're beautiful. Oh, what are you? Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. That is a series of words. Oh, a Dragon Synchro, 3200 attack, that's nice, that's very nice. Oh, you're a very shiny boy, I like you. Again, Synchro, so I don't know much about it. I should, if I find a, if I get a Tuna Monster, I, could pro I, cause I have a, um, a sort of Red Eyes deck, which has got room in the extra deck, because you only can get like 15 cards in there these days. I could, if I manage to get myself a Dragon Tuna, I could probably fit this in there. Not important right now. So, quick effect, you can target one face-up card your opponent controls and negate its effect until the end of this turn. Doesn't even have to be a monster, it could be a magic trap, whatever. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one tuner in your graveyard, special summon it in defense position. You can only use each effect of hot red eyes, dragon, archfiend, abyss once per turn. So, in other words, it's um, negates your opponent, but brings out tuners, so it would be very good if you had a deck that was based around a lot of synchros, I think. Interesting. I, I love that artwork. Look, have, a, have a closer look at that shiny boy. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Vision Hero Vion. So, that uh, actually reveal the next one, but I don't know what it means. So, Vision Hero, I think they tend to work with a variety of different heroes, so I could probably use this within my Elemental Hero deck, maybe. Let's find out what it does. With normal special summons, you can send one hero monster from your deck to the graveyard. I can only use that once per turn. Once per turn, you can banish one hero monster from your graveyard to add one polymerization from your deck to your hand. Okay, so he's got his uses. I'm not convinced I'll be able to fit him into my deck very well, but ah, I can look into it. 
Next up, we've got this Goki cage match. I don't know what a Goki is. Monster type, it would appear. When this card is activated, place three counters on this card. If your Goki monster destroys an opponent's monster for battle, remove one counter from this card once per turn at the end of the battle phase. If the last of these counters has been removed this way, you can special summon as many Goki monsters from as possible with different card names from your hand or deck, then place three counters on this card. Jesus, wept. So, let me see if I got this straight. Every time you destroy an opponent's monster, you take a counter off the card. At the, once you've finished fighting, if you've got no counters on this card, you can summon a bunch more monsters and then add three more cards. So it's sort of repeatedly. And I don't know what go these Gauki monsters are, but I imagine that's quite a useful card to have with them. Next up, we've got a series of letters. At least the previous ones were words. What the hell is this? Predaplant Ophiris Scorpio. I mean, it does kind of look like a scorpion, I suppose. It's a plant. If it's normal summoned or special summoned, you can send one monster from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon one Predaplant monster from your deck, except this one. You can only use the effect of this thing once per turn. I have no idea what a Predator Plant is, but I'm sure that's useful in context. Grim Reaper, sorry, Ghost, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. I've seen quite a few of these sort of Ghost Reaper and thing. Seems to be a... It's not so much a, a, an archetype, so much just a, a series of cards of a similar nature. Kind of like the, um, the old Element uh, Tamer things. I, I've... Can't remember what they're called. Okay, if this monster control, if sorry, if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, you can discard this card, reveal one card in your extra deck, then look at your opponent's extra deck, banish all cards in their extra deck with the same name as the revealed card. So it's really only useful if you've got a um, sort of a, two similar decks fighting each other. Which I know a few people who use similar sort of decks to me, so that could be. I could make that work. I'm probably not going to, because that will require a level of skill that I do not possess. But... Pack number two. I, I'm probably going to need to rush through these a little bit more than I am doing, because I have limited space on the, car, on the camera. Right. What we've got? We've got... Oh, look at you. This artwork's amazing. Thunder Dragon, Thunderstorm Mech. Okay, so these two Thunder Monsters. That's a uh, monster type that doesn't come across very often. One, two, three, four. What weird places to put those arrows? So during your main phase of control, this Link Summon card, you can target one of your Thunder Dragon Monsters. Oh, they've got a new Thunder Dragon um, set. So there were some Thunder Dragons... Um, from right at the beginning of the game. I think they've brought a bunch more out since then. Uh, so, target one of your Thunder Dragon monsters that is banished or in your graveyard, apply that monster's effect that discards itself to activate, then place that monster on the top or bottom of your deck. Okay. So, I'm uh, pretty much only useful if you've got a Thunder Dragon thing. Decode Destruction. I've got a decode thing over here. A decode Talker. But now we've got a decode Destruction, whatever that means. Target one decode talker you control. This guy. That guy. Apply the following effect this turn depending on the number of monsters it currently points to. So if it only points to one, this that monster gains 500 attack for each monster it currently points to. Doesn't that already have that ability? So it gets a secondary thing. Ooh. Oh, so I think they, they build as well. So you pointed it. If it's pointed at three monsters, you get the effect of one, two, and three. That's pretty cool. Two. Uh, monsters destroyed by battle with this monster are banished after damage calculation. And three. After damage calculation. If that monster destroys your opponent's monster by battle, discard, destroy all cards your opponent controls. You can only activate one deco destruction per turn. Neat. Eternal Soul. That's it. Oh, it's uh, it's hard to tell, but I think it's supposed to be a, a dark magician sort of hieroglyph-like thing, and you can't see the top, but you can tell by the uh, 
the staff at the bottom. Also the fact that it says every dark magician in your monster zone is unaffected by your opponent's spell cards. Or card, uh, monster, what does it say? Affected by your opponent's card effects. I'll learn to read eventually. Um, which would have also been a bit of giveaway, which makes me wonder why it bothered hiding the face in the first place. If this face-up card leaves the field, destroy all monsters you control. You can only use the following effect of Eternal Soul once per turn. You can activate one of these effects. Special summon one Dark Magician from your hand or graveyard, add one Dark Magic Attack or Thousand Knives from your deck to your hand. Now, if memory serves, Dark Magic Attack, I think, destroys Magic and Trap cards, and Thousand Knives destroys monsters, I think, but you can only activate them if you've got a uh, Dark Magician on the field. So this is sort of very much uh, uh, for Dark Magician decks, which I should try and build one at some point. I've got enough Dark Magicians. I've got Dark Magician girls. Don't think I've got any Dark Magicians of Chaos or whatever, but it doesn't really matter. Dark Magic Twin Burst. Target one Dark Magician you control. It gains attack equal to the combined attack of all Dark Magician girl currently on the field and in the graveyards. Graveyards plural, so if your opponent's got some, great. Till the end of this turn, you can only actually one Dark Magic Twin Burst per turn. So just a massive attack boosty card. Necroz of Clow... Clow... Slot, clow, clow, clow of this. Of that thing. I don't know what that word means. Jeez. I don't mind them making up words, I do wish that they were readable. There's a ritual monster, I don't see many of them. You can ritual summon this card with any Necroz ritual spell, must be ritual summoned. You can only use each of these effects of Necros, Klaus, Last, Slav, Fliv, 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 Bob once per turn. You can discard this card and add one Necros spell trap card from your deck to your hand. Or the quick effect, you can target one face up monster on the field that was special summoned from the extra deck. Until the end of this turn, that target's attack becomes zero. Also, its effects are negated. So if I have one of these against my Elemental Hero deck, I'm screwed. <laughs> right, that's number two down. There are so many cards with so much writing. If we're lucky, we'll get a couple of repeats before the end of this, so we can just sort of skip over them. Not the first time I've ever wanted repeats in these things, but as I am limited on time. So, first up we've got... Her Her heretic... Heretic? That's not how you spell heretic. Heretic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres. It's a dragon. That's not a dragon, it's a rock. Look at that. It's the dra oh, it's a dragon balls, I suppose. Okay, so you need two dragon monsters. Once per turn, if this card in the extra monster... That's okay, the extra monster zone is the new one they've put in. You can tribute one monster from your hand or field, return one face-up card on the field to the hand. If this card is tributed, special summon one dragon monster from your hand or deck, but make his attack or def and defense zero. You can only use this effect of the this card once per turn. I imagine that has more uses than I can see off the top of my head. But we'll see. Oh, it's another Predator plant. Predator plant, drag us, best, deb, deb, deb. Oh, you got, but it's got a fuse, a fusion monster and a dark monster. That is a very wide range of things you could use. Once per turn, quick effect, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls, place one predator counter, or predator counter on it, and if it's level two or higher, it becomes level one as long as it has a predator counter. Negate the activated effects of your opponent's monsters that have predator counters. That seems quite powerful. So once per turn you put a predator counter on a card, it becomes level 1 and has its effects negated. That is pretty good. And weirdly, I could easily, quite easily fit that into my Elemental Hero deck because it's got a lot of fusion monsters and it's got a fair few dark monsters. I don't think it would be very useful in there, but it's, it's a thing I could do, technically. Alright. Booster Dragon. Oh, he's got no arms. So he doesn't fall over, he'll never get up. The Dragon, it needs two Rocket Monsters. That's not how you spell Rocket, but okay. Once per turn, you can target one face-up monster on the field. It gains 500 attack and defense. Your opponent cannot activate effects 
in response to this card's activation, if this Link summoned card is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can target one other dragon monster in your graveyard, special summon it, and you can only use the effect of boost a dragon once per turn. Okay, Koki, not much to talk about there. Shadol Construct. It's a fairy that needs two flip monsters. Ooh, I've not seen any flip monsters for a while. Huh. Guess that's uh, bringing those back. During your main phase, you can fusion summon one Shadol fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. If this card's in your graveyard, you can spend one Shadol card from your hand or face up field to the graveyard. If you do, special summon this card. You can only use each effect of Shadol Construct once per turn. So I'm guessing Shadows are all flip monsters. And finally, we've got Double Hero Attack. Nice! That'll work very well with me Elemental Hero deck. Whatever the hell it does. If you control a fusion monster that lists Elemental Hero Neos as a material. Ah, I don't have many Elemental Hero Neos fusion monsters that aren't... Because um, most of them are um, the Neospatian ones. I think I do have some that... Uh, but I'll have to have a look at that. Uh, target 1, Hero Fusion Monster in your graveyard, special summon it, ignoring its summoning conditions. You can only activate one double hero attack per turn. That's that's quite useful, because um, my own mental hero deck, the cards have lots of varieties of um, effects. Their attack tends to be on the low side, um, comparatively, so it's quite easy for them to get destroyed. So being able to summon them... And they, they all say, oh, they can only be summoned with Fusion Summon anyway. So having something that negates that at, um, ability would be quite useful. But I'll have to see if I can fit it in. <laughs> right. Don't fall over, little pile. Sippy sippy. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, my God. Three minutes and 45 seconds. Okay. Speeding along. I won't be able to read these out anymore, guys. I don't have time for it. My camera's about to run out of thing. Tactical Exchanger. Um, okay. Galaxy Soldier. Look at it. Look, look at his shiny face. Okie dokie. Ooh, a Toon Dark Magician Girl. Neat. It did. So, basically the same thing as, to as Dark Magician Girl, but Toonified. Oh, another red hot dragon arch fiend abyss thing. Neat. I like that thing. And a necros of Trishulia, which is another ritual thing. We'll work with the um, other necros stuff. Time we're speeding through it. No, we're not. I can't get the cards open. <laughs> Righty ho, we have got Divine Serpent. Yeah. That is a very long effect. I will read through that later. Jesus. Soul Pendulum. Okay, don't do pendulum cards very well, so sod that. El Shadol Construct. Well, that will work with the other Shadol thing. And it's a fusion thing. Neat. Moving on. Link Disciple, you haven't got legs. Well, I've had other cards without arms, you haven't got any legs. Between the two of you, you'd make one functioning thing. Infinite Impertinence, that's a cool artwork. I don't know what you are. Do I know what you are? I think it might be the pen, oh. I recognize it, I think it's a Cyber Dragon of some description. Neat. Um, yes. Look at him, shiny boy, moving on. Sorry to be rushing through your, uh, your gift like this, uh, Neo, but as I said, I have all of two minutes left. Okay, we have got... Ooh, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. I'm fairly sure I have one of those somewhere already. Um, yeah, it's cool. Look, it's adorable. Okay, okay. Trickstar Holly Angel. 
She's got a little little blue love heart on her cheek. Is that a tattoo you reckon, or is it just face paint? That's a that whip has got a ball and chain on the end. That's that weapon would be utterly useless. It would have none of the advantages of a ball and chain and none of the advantages of a whip. Quintet magician. Five spellcaster monsters. Jesus. It's got to be fusion summoned. It's got an attack of 4,500. Fair enough. Oh, they're going to have different names as well. Jesus, wept. You can destroy all cards your opponent's controls. This face-up monster on the field cannot be tributed nor used as a fusion material and cannot be destroyed by card effect. If you get that out, you're laughing. <laughs> you're done. The game's over. You win. Right. Her Heria... Her I, thought, I think I pronounced heretic, but that doesn't seem to be how you spell the word heretic. Heretic Dragon of Tefnuit. That's not words. Uh, it's a dragon. But this is a special summon this card from your hand if your opponent can a monster. Cannot attack when it's done that way. When it's tributed, special summon one dragon, normal monster from your hand. I could go be able to make it attack zero, zero. Attack defense, zero. It's all running low. Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound. Ancient Gear cards tend to have the effect that when they attack, the opponent can't activate magic and trap cards. We have 20 seconds, so we're going to have to call it a day. Is is a big, big old boy, does punch good. Thank you, Neo. Very much appreciated. Sorry I've had to rush through the last couple of minutes. Oh god, this video is already half an hour long. Okay, we're done. Bye!